uh, today's hymn and story is one that's very familiar to us. We just looked at it at our during our blue Christmas service. It's comfort, comfort now, my people. Comfort, comfort now, my people. Tell of peace, oh, says our God. Comfort those who sit in darkness, mourning under sorrow's load. To my people now proclaim that my pardon waits for them. Tell them that their sins are covered and their warfare now is over. Right? It's a familiar tune. It's from the 1551 Genevan Psalter, the one that was written way back when Calvin was first inventing this reformed faith that we find ourselves in. And the tune is so buoyant, energetic, and lively. It just makes you want to get up and dance. It was sung originally um, a cappella by just the choir, and it may have had like a drum or a tambourine along with it. And it reminds us literally of like a campfire song, someone just sitting by the fire and singing about God's comfort. It reminds us of what it must have been like to worship in Jesus' day. It's a paraphrase that was also written in 1671. It's an old tune, and it's familiar words, comfort. We want comfort. It reminds us of Isaiah's vision of comfort, of a peaceful land. It also reminds me of what Peter says in Second Peter, where he says, Do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance everyone to come to repentance and patience. Comforting words, maybe, that things happen in time. And it reminds us too, the age of this tune, the age of this hymn, that this is not the first time people have experienced anything like this. These words would have been originally written during the plague, where a third of Europe's population died. People need a comfort then, and they need comfort now. It's an age old because God is eternal. God knows the end of the story. And so we must wait with patience. And may that bring us comfort.